sketch the graph of the following linear functions, starting with 3, y equals 4x minus 2. Now remember that every time we have a function in this format, y equals mx plus b, m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. So for question 3 here, y equals 4x minus 2, negative 2 is our y-intercept, and 4 is the slope. So let's start with the y-intercept. And I always forget to label these guys, x and y, there we go. Okay, so y-intercept of negative 2. If we start at the origin, we go two units down, right there. That is the y-intercept. And, okay, so the slope is 4. And the slope is the rise over the run. So, if our slope is 4, the rise over the run can be 4 over 1. So we're going to go over 1, up to 4. Over 1, up to 4, and so on. So now let me just connect the dots and make a nice straight line over here. There we go. Great. Slightly off. Hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> um, question 4. Y equals negative x plus 3. So here the slope is negative 1. There's a hidden 1 over here, right? Plus 3. So the y-intercept is 3. So from the origin, we go three units up, right there. And the slope is negative one, so we go over one, down one, over one, down one, and so on. And again, I'm gonna just uh, draw a nice little line here. There we go. So that is y equals negative x plus three. That's it.